Well, good morning. It's beautiful outside. We are, what are we today? We're April 13th, so we're plenty early enough. We're not uh, we're not too concerned yet about getting into the field for another couple weeks, as in for planting corn. But there is a possibility we'll be planting peas here in the next week or two. Um, the last couple days we've been spending getting this area all set up so we can handle skids. I can pull my fertilizer wagons in. Um, we got all the pins put in the piece of equipment. I still got to pull the corn planter in. But we got to go over it. Uh, right now the cultivator's in the shop. The air seeder's ready to go. Uh, it's been a busy couple days just moving stuff around. So let's kind of walk around. I'll just keep you up to get you up to speed. And I'll tell you what's going to be going on. So hopefully by the end of this week, Actually today, um, I don't know if we can see, there is a fence, yeah, there's a fence over there with the dry spreader. So I got my uh, Charlie Sullivans. Um, anyways, they uh, spread our dry manure for us if you've been watching in the past. I do not do that. So they're gonna get our dry out today. They got time. The fields are uh, just getting fit to be on them for that kind of stuff. And hopefully by the end of the week, we need to get our liquid spread. That is the game plan. Uh, I don't know if that's going to happen 100% only because when we talked there is a long line for the rental of that uh, of those spreaders but we're still hopeful at least to get one and get things moving. So yeah, cultivator's in here. We're going to go over it. Uh, A345, it's not hooked up yet because if we spread manure, we're going to use that tractor. So we're in uh, my other implement shed which we use constantly just to back everything in. So it's under cover for the night. Uh, yes, the sprayer's hooked up. I still gotta go fill it up with uh, water and actually test it. The corn planter, yes, it's hooked up. I still need to put some water in those uh, tanks. Make sure my liquid works. I gotta go over everything actually on it. I haven't greased it, I haven't touched it, nothing. Air seeder is 100% ready. And we also gotta get the sunflower in and grease it. So uh, this year we're more concerned about the air seeder and our tillage equipment opposed to the corn planter. Uh, because we're on a different contract of uh, peas from the early side of it. So I know last night one of my neighbors who was on the uh, same early side as us and with peas you have to do it as they say because they're trying to coordinate uh, pea pickers and when stuff gets planted. So anyways, he started working dirt last night for his peas. So I don't know when they're going to give us the call but I would imagine the next week and a half because we're supposed to be on the same uh, program as him. So yeah, so we're just getting ready for that and then we'll uh, start getting ready for corn. So once Charlie and Brian get here, I'm going to take them to the field where they're gonna spread. And then we gotta get chores underway. Keep looking at the cultivator. And we're just gonna see how the day goes. I got a bunch of things to do. I just don't know what order they're going to be in. We're just gonna uh, see how the day, how the cards are dealt and play that hand. Middlesex Farm Systems is the name of the manure guy that we use. So, he is actually finished. It has been just a crazy day. I haven't actually had time to pick up this camera. So yeah, he uh, just finished up not too long ago. Um, we finished the cultivator. It's out, just needed to be greased. Look at the bearings, nothing crazy. Same with the sunflower, it came in. We greased it, looked it over, it's fine. Now for the corn planter. And yeah, I've checked the points of contact. Um, I've talked about that in different videos, which is the space between here and here so <clears throat> i've just started checking that uh, i'm just going over and we're just gonna that feels good that feels good we're gonna go carry on I'm gonna do same do the exact same with my shark teeth that one feels good and go around spin everything so that's what i'm gonna do and then we're gonna start greasing it and we're gonna set it down grease it grease the top half of this planter and then I'll probably end the video and I'll start again tomorrow. I'm not too sure we're gonna do it. Like I said, I have lots of plans. We're not gonna start planting yet. They're talking about uh, cold weather next week. So I just wanna make sure everything is pointed in the right direction. Uh, I would like to get that manure spread, but I don't know if we're going to, I like guess in the liquid stuff we have to do, the problem is, is the tanks are on, we rent them and there's a list and we're not at the top. It's just the way it goes. That is the issue with renting stuff. The positive is I don't have to do this kind of stuff. I maintain it. So. Uh, I'm gonna go check this over. We'll come back quickly, grease it, then it'll be the next day. Fresh grease.
So I decided I should probably take my wheels off. I need a dust cap. We're gonna need a couple of new scrapers. That one's that one's not bad. Uh, that one's not bad. I'm gonna get a couple new ones, replace that. See, actually this one just wore out because it was just too tight. That's my fault. You're supposed to. I saw if you put in a wrench here and pull up on it, just so it just, like all we're trying to do is just scrape the dirt, the, whatever d sticky dirt is sticking to that, or dust, but we're just trying to keep that blade clean. But uh, anyways, go run, get a dust cap and some scrapers. So there are the worn out ones. It's a little life left and that, not much. And yeah, I'm putting John Deere ones on. Only because it's getting late in the day and I really don't have time to, uh, I just don't want to go to Kearney's right now. That's all there is to it. So, uh, this Kinsey 3600, a lot of the stuff, the discs, uh, the scrapers, it's all interchangeable John Deere stuff. They say Kinsey might have stole the John Deere theory. He used to work for John Deere. Apparently. That's the word. So. Pretty simple. So I'm gonna go through and replace the rest that I need to. Oh, good morning. Uh, we, the planters are ready to go. This is crazy, it's a uh, pretty early spring. We are not gonna start planting corn just yet, but we are gonna be getting ready to uh, plant peas here. Uh, Owen's spreading a little bit of manure because uh, the ground is fit, so we're gonna get those jobs out of the way. And I'm gonna go work a little ground. Actually, I'm gonna do chores first, then we're gonna get to work a little ground, and we'll end the video, but uh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna go do chores. I want the sun to get out a little bit and then I gotta work a little ground to prep for those peas. I haven't got the call yet, but I see the other neighbors that are on the same contract as us. Uh, they're prepping their fields, so they probably know something I don't. Should probably go uh, start that, but yeah, chores first. Then we're going to, you'll get a little montage of that and that's the end of this video. And after that, we're gonna be, we're gonna be farming. It's gonna be awesome. We go 2023 farming has started and there goes Owen off for another load things are happening today it's been a good week actually I'm tired but I'm excited take me home take me on a ride I, I got a good feeling about the colors lighting up your eyes take
here because I am now filming and we're flying. There's me. Technology is awesome. Oh, there's another load. Steady all day. Anyways, uh, yeah, I think you guys should like, subscribe. Peace. Have a good one. After this is going to be a lot of tillage, a lot of planting, all kinds of fun stuff. I'll keep this drone rolling. So have a good one. Peace.